In this tutorial, we're going to use Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, VPC, and we're going to set up a range of IP addresses. We're going to have one subnet that we sort of split into smaller subnets, and we're going to have a private address range that is not accessible from the outside. So we're going to create a host that only has a private IP address. Uh, we'll have a public host here that can access this private that's sitting on this private subnet as well but it will have an internet gateway that allows it to uh, that allows us to contact it and it to contact the internet so we'll be able to access this public host but we'll have some private uh, a private host behind it we'll also give this private host internet access but again, it will only have a private IP address. It won't technically have a quote unquote gateway. Uh, this makes sense because eventually we can get to the point where we set up a VPN. And once we have a VPN connection set up, we would have access to the entire private network. So it demonstrates some good concepts. Um, and it makes sense to protect a host by making sure that it just has no public IP address that can be accessed. So let's move to Amazon here and let's go to services. And we're going to scroll down under network and content delivery, and we're going to choose VPC. Again, that's virtual private cloud. Let's go ahead, and you can see here we're going to be utilizing all of these under our virtual private cloud. We kind of have to, not all, but some, we have to sort of integrate these things work together. So I'm going to choose VPCs, and we're going to set up our address range. You can see I've already done this as I tested this. And I'll call this um, Beck. VPC yeah do it like that Beck VPC and let's go 10.205.0.0 slash 16 and so this slash 16 address space is going to be everything we could use there's a nice big block uh, and we're going to sort of subnet that into a public subnet and then a private subnet uh, the public subnet will have a gateway the private subnet will not but that's all, that's the entire range. We're going to split this into smaller groups uh, a little bit later down the road. Choose Create VPC. And then we're going to click on Subnets. And we're going to now, this is where we'll create our smaller subnets. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, create subnet. And I will call this Beck Public. And we're going to associate this with a VPC, this virtual private cloud that we've just created. The availability zone. Let's make sure our subnets are in the same availability zone. I'm pretty sure this counts. I'm going to choose US East 1A here. Uh, it doesn't matter. As long as you choose the same thing for both of your subnets, I think that's what we need to do. And I'm going to say 10.205.0.0 slash 24. And so our 10.205, there's 255 total addresses that we're sort of splitting out of our larger 2050016 block. Go ahead and create that. We're going to create another subnet, and I'm going to call this one Beck Private. We'll associate it with the correct VPC, the one that you created. Again, US East 1A, same availability zone. And this one will be 10.206.0.0 slash 24. So we'll use that second block for our first private subnet. And of course, I need to revisit my subnet math now, don't I? I'm going to use uh, 10 dot excuse me, 1.0. You look down at the clock there at 7.30 a.m. I haven't quite finished my first cup of coffee this morning. So yeah, there it is, 1.0 slash 24, create. Now we're going to use the route table functionality here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a route table. And I will call this Beck public, and I'll just say RT because it's a route table. Let's associate it with Beck VPC. 
And I'll go ahead and give it a name, capital N, lowercase a m e, Beck public RT. We'll go ahead and create that. Uh, our next move is we're going to need to create an internet gateway for our uh, public subnet, right? And so click on Internet Gateways, and we're going to create one. And I will call this Beck VPC uh, GW. And that'll create an Internet Gateway. This is a pretty one-step process. So now we've got this Beck VPC uh, Internet Gateway 0B2E. That's cool. And we'll go back to our route tables. And here is the route, this public Beck route that we created. Uh, you can see that it's going to route within right now 10.205.00 slash 16. Let's go ahead and edit routes. And we're going to add a route. And we want to be able to have internet access. So 0, there we go, 0000, zero, zero, zero slash 0. That's our default route. And... Uh, it didn't allow me to put in my internet gateway, so come back to internet gateways. It's good to hop around here. We're going to select uh, our internet gateway, and you can see it's not attached to a VPC right now. So I'm going to attach this to our Beck. When I click on it, he gave me the option. Just make sure you click on the correct VPC, and we'll attach that internet gateway. And so now we have an internet gateway that's associated with our Beck VPC. We've got that association set up. Back to the route table. And here's our Beck public. Routes, edit routes, and we'll try that again. We're going to add a default gateway. And we're going to sync it with an internet gateway. And there's our gateway that we just created. We're going to go ahead and save routes. Okay, so that's a gateway for the 10.205.0.0, but we need to go to subnet associations. Because remember, we're creating two subnets within this larger subnet. And so we're going to edit subnet associations. And our public is the first one, 10.205.0.0. We're going to make the private 1.0. So we only want 10.205.0.0 slash 24 to have an internet gateway. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now we also want to create a route table for our private subnet. So we're going to create another route table. And I'm going to call this Beck Private RT. And we're going to associate this with the Beck VPC again. And with the Beck uh, private here, when you look at routes, you can see that it's uh, only going to route within 10.205.0016. So any traffic bound for any computer in that whole range, it'll have a route built into the computer that allows it to access the 10.205.0.0 network. But this subnet, click on subnet associations, edit subnet association. We're going to put this on any computer that's on the 10.205.1.0 network is going to have a route to any of the other 205s. So there we go. So let's revisit this real quick. Our Beck Public, right, has uh, can route to anything inside a 10.205. Well, it's associated with 10.205.0.0. It can route to anything in 10.205.0.0 slash 16. If you type in, if you try to go to an IP address outside of that, it will route to the default gateway, which is an internet gateway we've set up. Our private subnet will route, will have a route for anything inside a 10.205.0.0. And it's associated with the 10.205.1.0. So any computer or anything we create inside of this private subnet will not have an internet gateway. If you've set all of that up, uh, in the next video we'll configure our two instances and we'll take a look at how 
Um, this particular strategy works where we have a public host that can connect to the private host. Uh, the private host will not be able to reach out yet. That'll be something that we'll do uh, later on.